Alright, now that we know how to multiply and divide scientific notation using paper and pencil, we are going to, um, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use our Casio to solve questions like multiplication of scientific notation or division of scientific notation or even addition or subtraction of scientific notation. So the first step that you have to do is to go to the main menu go to run and then we are going to set this one up so that it will be in scientific notation mode to do that we are going to access this setup here so press shift menu scroll all the way down until you'll see display now right now we are in the normal mode so we are going to um, change normal mode into scientific mode so we are going to press F2 it's going to ask us how many um, significant digits do we want our Casio to show um, 5 or 6 will be okay so I'm going to choose 5 press EXE Alright, right now our Casio is now in scientific notation mode. Press exit and now we are ready to copy the problem. What is important here is you have to include your parentheses when you are typing your scientific notation. So to type this one in, I'll press open paren 3.42 times 10 raised to 5 close paren then times 4.67 times 10 raised to 9 close parentheses once I press EXE we are going to get 1.5971 E raised to 15 this E raised to 15 means the exponent of our base 10 is 15 so we have 1.5971 times 10 raised to 15 now we chose earlier five significant digits and that's why we have one two three four five digits appearing in our Casio now for division it will be the same procedure so make sure that your Casio is in scientific mode and make sure that when you type this two scientific notation into our Casio it should be inside the parentheses so I'm going to just reset my Casio so 3.45 open parentheses 3.45 times 10 raised to 2 close paren divided by open paren 1.23 times 10 raised to negative 5 then close parentheses now once I press EXE I should be able to get 2.80 times 10 raised to 7 alright there we go if we are going to add or subtract scientific notation then just use plus or minus now of course once you're done solving scientific notation you have to make sure to return your mode into a normal mode because if you will not return this into the normal mode let's say when you divide let's say 1 by 2 it will give you a scientific notation so we have to go back to our setup shift menu scroll all the way down or if you want um, shift setup scroll all the way up and then you will have now your display right away now we would like to go back to the normal mode press F3 it's now in normal but make sure that you press EXE alright so when you divide 1 by 2 we will no longer get a scientific notation answer but we'll get a decimal 0.5 there we go so don't worry if you're going to add subtract scientific notation it should be very easy to check our answer we can use our Casio 
um, the only problem here if you're solving word problem is which operation which operation should you be using is it addition multiplication um, division or subtraction